And so there was one bee left of the killer bees, Ben <laughs> Roethlisberger. So you have to wonder, are you guys still concerned about the Steelers' offense without Antonio Brown? We already saw it without Le'Veon Bell, James. I was a little bit until this last preseason game, and I, I got a chance to watch it. And when they came out there, I seen the way they used Juju. And I want to show you guys right now, Antonio Brown lines up strictly one spot. They come out the game, they're in a bunch formation. Juju's on the outside. They got the look they want off coverage, big time out route. Don't connect on it. Not worry about it. Love where they put him. Then they come back the next play, he's in the slot. So they're moving him all around. He's in the slot. So now defensive coordinators, you can't just single on him and put keep all of the eyes on him and double him because he's moving all around. And then the next play, he's outside on the right side. And you got a big time post route right here for the touchdown. Now, when A.B. was there, like I said, he was strictly outside. Juju did a lot of his damage in the slot. Now that A.B. is gone, they're using Juju because he's the number one receiver, but they're moving him all over the football field. And that makes it harder on defenders, cornerbacks that want to come in there and follow him. It makes it harder on him because he's going to move all over the field. So you can follow me if you want to, but you're going to have to play in the slot. You're going to have to play outside. You're going to have to move with me. So I like how they used him. My biggest question is who is going to be the Juju? Who's going to be the number two? Is that a James Washington for you guys? Yeah, it is. And with Juju, they got creative last year. That's why you saw a lot of crosses. He turned some of those crossing plays into big plays. And we tried to figure out what would they do this year because we knew he would get the double team and they would roll coverage to him. But now that a guy like James Washington has emerged, everybody wondered who's going to take A.B. place. Well, you got a guy that's fast, that runs great routes, that can do this right here, stretch the field for the big play. So now you can't sit everybody in the box. You can't roll all the coverage to Juju because you got an explosive player that you know that can get over the top and make the big play. So James Washington has been that player that has emerged offensively for the Steelers that I'm saying now, okay, I see why they were able to move on because they had another guy not calling him A.B. I'm just saying <laughs> he's young, he's explosive, and he's making big plays. And then if you can run the ball with James Conner, we always talked about him. He was on his way to kind of having comparable numbers to Lev Bell last Last year, but the injuries. Can he stay consistent? Can he stay on the football field? It's easy when you have a guy you can turn around, hand the football off to, and they can make catches out of the backfield. And I know they've been working more on making him a receiver out of the backfield to help that offense and as well. And playing that receiver position, you make the biggest jump from year one to year two. The game mm -hmm. slows down. You don't got to come in there and learn a whole new playbook. He's with the same quarterback. So you can tell by the way he's playing, he's playing a lot faster than he was last year, and that's what's getting him well, open. Well, he's catching the ball. Last year Absolutely. he dropped 42% yeah. of his targets, and there was questions about his hands, but he's looked really Confidence, very good. That's, that's thinking about a lot of stuff. So <laughs> and he got called out. He got called that. out. Exactly. That'll make you sharpen up real quick. All right, well, the Steelers hoping. Uh,